how to fix corrupt date database on your PlayStation console. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Genie Guide. In this video, I'll show you some of the ways on how you can fix corrupt date database issue on your PlayStation console. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Now the corrupted data and the corrupted disk versus the corrupted database are actually different types of errors on PlayStation and caused by different types of reasons as well. So you wanna make sure to stick with me till the end. The very first thing you wanna do is you wanna simply navigate to settings and once you navigate to settings you want to scroll down and look for the option called storage and then just select storage here choose the option called system storage and over here you'll find the option called saved data currently you can see it's occupying more than 351 megabytes of my storage so just go to the saved data option once you do you will be able to see a list of saved data over here so it could be some of the games data that could be corrupted so if it's let's say if occurring with FIFA or doom or e football they or YouTube just go ahead and select it over here once you select those data just choose this save data and then delete it just press the options button to delete it tap on the delete option to do so and try to again reuse those save data again after going ahead and then opening up the game and after that come to media player again press the options button choose the option called delete choose the option called delete again from the bottom of the screen after selecting them and once you've done that most likely this would definitely solve your problem if it doesn't help then what you can try to do is we're going to exit out of settings again and then we're going to scroll down to the option called a system or initialization over here you want to go to restore default settings if that doesn't help come down to initialize ps4 here try to do a quick wipe which means quickly delete data from system storage and initialize the ps4 this method might allow third parties to retrieve the data by using specialized tools but if this quick wipe does not really help solve your problem then you can try with the full game as well if that doesn't help the other thing you can also try to do is go ahead and check on which game you're really having the database issue and after you go to that game press the options button try to check for update if there's an update then that's perfectly fine if not then just delete the game and then reinstall them again from your playstation store and hopefully one of these solutions may have helped solve your problem and if it did help solve your problem make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you've got any more questions queries or doubts make sure to also leave them down thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video